How about Baker Mania? I want to talk about Baker Mayfield for a minute. Saturday night, I don't know how many of you were watching this. I was at a Christmas party and I was transfixed because I want to be able to watch. I want to be able to watch Baker Mayfield play. The Browns have become one of the most entertaining teams in the NFL this year. And so I jumped in and watched this game. And Greg Williams, here's an amazing stat for you. Greg Williams, who is the interim coach of the Cleveland Browns, is 4-2 and two in his last six games. In six games, he has won more games with the Cleveland Browns than Hugh Jackson did in 40. Hugh Jackson went 3-36-1. Now Greg Williams has gone 4-2. and two. I loved everything about this game because there were so many intriguing decisions to make down the stretch. Beginning with Vance Joseph's decision to kick the field goal to make it a one-point game. I don't think you can do that if you are Vance Joseph although he almost got an opportunity to come back on the other side. I think you have to go for it there. I think it was a bad decision by Vance Joseph. On top of that, it's a trouble, an incredibly difficult decision to make for Greg Williams, whether to go for it on fourth and one and in the game or kick the field goal to go up four. I think in general you have to kick the field goal there, but I loved the aggression of going for it on fourth and one. Where they blew it was... They got a team to jump off sides. They got the Broncos to jump off sides and their offensive line didn't immediately react. And so as a result, it was a messy situation in general. But the Broncos gave up the ghost. I think that Vance Joseph is done and I love everything that I am seeing from Baker Mayfield. He is phenomenal. Incredible He should be the rookie of the year over Saquon Barkley. He has meant way more to the Browns than Saquon Barkley has meant to the Giants. And I think there's a decent chance, I agree with one of the commenters I just looked over and saw, that they are going to roll out and that they are going to be able to make a play down the stretch potentially that is significant in the overall playoff landscape. Okay, I think he's going to be really good. I think after a long, long time in the wilderness that the, uh, that the Browns are excited to be able to say we finally got a quarterback who everybody can go by the jersey of. If that is going to happen, that will continue and that will be a rollout of the highest order. 